Welcome to today's lesson. So we're going to go ahead and make this corset into an actual garment. So this is a lace fabric that I really like. I already have a very simple dress, um, a high neck sleeveless dress in this fabric. So pairing it with this corset would even be nice. So this is the corset that we are making. And the method that we're going to use for this class is called the one layer method. And what it means is that the corset is just going to be one single layer so we're not going to have a lining or anything just one layer this technique can be used to make transparent corsets so if you search for transparent corsets this technique is used for it a lot and so you can just um if you decide that you want to use a fabric that is more transparent than this you can go ahead so a side note i want you to avoid fabrics that are really really delicate so don't use things like taffeta um plain fabrics that are really delicate like that so look for fabrics that have a little bit of body like maybe lace um brocade or fabrics like that when working with this technique because there is no form of interfacing that is going to hold the fabric in place so when you're working with this single layer technique is make sure you're using a very strong fabric now if you are working with something that is a skin tone for example an illusion net please work with corset mesh it is very very strong and there's another method for working with that which i might add to this lesson if i feel so inclined i might add it to this lesson maybe towards the end i would explain how to go about making that type of corset so I'm going to go ahead, place my fabric on this, add my seam, just cut it out so that I don't need to add seam allowance anymore. And then take this straight to my machine where we are going to start sewing this up. So before I start cutting, I want to talk about the selvage and the right way to cut your fabrics. So whenever you get your fabrics, there are, there's usually an edge at the upper part and at the lower part. They are usually identical. For some fabrics, they are different. So make sure that when you are placing your pattern, it is going to be going this way as opposed to placing your pattern this way parallel to the selvage. And this is because you want to minimize the amount of stretch your pattern has on your fabric. Your fabric has on your pattern rather. So I'm just going to cut it like this. So I don't need this much fabric. So I'm just going to adjust it till I get the amount of fabric I need. So one thing I want to point out is that for this technique, you don't need this much seam allowance. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this seam allowance to one centimeter. So you can decide to do it on your fabric or on your pattern. Okay, so I've gone ahead to cut the pattern on my fabric and the alteration I did was I removed one centimeter from the seam allowance because this is a single layer corset. So for some other single layer corsets, if you're working with very straight lines, on your corset then you should leave the two centimeters and use that as your boning channel but because we're having curves and angles on this pattern it's advisable to just work with one centimeter so it's easier for you to sew now what i have here is my rope so i have this one is going to be for my loops at the back and this one is going to be for my lacing so at the center back i left the two centimeters where the loops are going to be i left the two centimeters there and I'm just going to take this to my machine now. I'll first join these pieces together, join this together and take it to my ironing board to iron. So how to join it is you're going to join the center back together and the center front together. Take it to your machine and you would iron. And when you are done, you would join the side seams together. So I'll take this to my machine to show you what I mean by it being a single layer corset. And how to make sure inside it's very neat um the inner part of your corset is still very neat all right so what we, i mean by a single layer corset is this you are going to sew your side seam your seam allowance to the right side of your fabric not to the wrong side to the right side and this helps to eliminate any allowance or any um, rough edges on your pattern. So I'm going to start with the center front. So I'm working with the lace So make sure there's no stone and you just sew that seam allowance there 
and you would attach the second one so i'll just attach the remaining patterns so i'll take the one underneath and move it to this side so i can get the mirror image okay i hope that's clear and then i will just pin this so that it's easier for me to sew I take the one underneath, I flip it, and I turn it to the other side. So that's pretty much how I get a balanced corset pattern every time. Or you can label your patterns, but if you're working with something transparent, you can't label it without damaging the fabric. So I've pinned it now, and I'm just going to sew. So I'm going to sew it on the right side like this. So the wrong side is going to be very neat. So before I start to sew the center back, remember there's two centimeters. I'm going to sew a line to indicate whether two centimeters is, or I am just going to fold it over and make sure I have two centimeters and top stitch it at the very edge. <laughs> 